hey guys welcome back to Xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to integrate gradients inside our Xamarin forms project and this gradient has been introduced in Xamarin forms version 4.8 and above so you should upgrade that so we'll be using this website in order to generate our gradients inside our Xamarin forms project so I'll be basically adding my gradient color to the background of the page so you can just place those gradient color and play around with it using some controls like frames button color, button background anything you can just put this gradient color to any controls that you like so here i'm just playing around with the color so that we'll be having our nice looking background with gradient color so in order to do that you should have xamarin forms version 4.8 and above and then inside our app.xaml.cs we have an experiment flag as brush experimental so you should integrate that as of now but in xamarin forms 5.0 the experimental tag will be removed for brushes so you don't do need to add those so this is the linear gradient brush that has been used so there are two type of brushes that has been recently added by xamarin forms team and in future i think there will be much more so we have another brush named as radial gradient brush so inside the center you can just check it out there is a radial gradient that is being set up so we do, will not be using that uh, radial gradient brush as of now let me comment that and we'll be using our linear gradient brush only so let me comment this thing now let's play around with linear gradient brush if suppose if you want three gradient color in that then we'll be had having three gradient stop colors and then let's choose a gradient which has three colors so we'll be selecting this gradient stop color so that we'll be having three colors let me add my second color over here at middle which offset is 0 0.5 so you will be knowing about offset by this gradient that is 0 0.1 on the green color orange and the pink you can just check it out the last one the offset is 1.0 so you can just play around with those values that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials